Shut up. Are zombies real? The Merriam-Webster dictionary defines a zombie as 1. A person who moves very slowly and is not aware of what is happening, especially because of being very tired. 2. A dead person who is able to move because of magic, according to some religions and in some stories, movies, etc. I don't have any evidence that humans have risen from the grave, but the natural world has many zombie horror stories going on under our noses. Let's look at five incredible real-world examples of zombie horror happening all around us. Mm. 5. Bacular virus infects the gypsy moth caterpillar and produces enzymes that makes the caterpillar climb to the top of its tree where it dies. Falling viral particles from the caterpillar spread the virus to others. 4. The parasite Toxoplasma gondii can only reproduce in the gut of cats. The moment it's spread, it infects rats and causes the release of extra brain chemicals called dopamine and testosterone. With this rush, the rats become fearless and undaughtered by cats until they're eaten, passing on the infection to its next host. 3. Another zombie-like infection is caused by the fungus, Ophiocordyceps unilateralis, which infects the brain of carpenter ants. Once infected, the ants die above the ground before a fungal spore stalk bursts out of the ant's head. 2. The emerald jewel wasp, Ampulex compressor, may look beautiful. In truth, it's an evil zombie queen wasp using cockroaches as her army. The wasp begins by stinging cockroaches in the abdomen and temporarily paralyzing them before probing the stinger with exact accuracy into a specific part of the cockroach's brain. With access now to its brain, the wasp injects hormones that causes the cockroach to lose any desire to run away. The wasp then leads its new docile pet back to its lair where it lays eggs inside it before the cockroach is eaten from the inside out. One. Parasitic hairworm forces its grasshopper host to take it for a swim. The worm infects the grasshopper, then produces proteins that control the central nervous system of the host and convince it to leap into the nearest pool of water. After the grasshopper drowns, the worm wriggles out of its host to begin searching for a mate to reproduce. Yeah, okay, but are human zombies real? Could these creepy zombie scenarios translate to the dominant animal on the planet? Well, science would say no. There's no coming back from the dead. Death means the end of cell respiration and no adenosine triphosphate, ATP, for energy. Without ATP, nothing can happen. Cell processes break down, cell membranes collapse, and organelles are disrupted before each cell falls apart. This is called necrosis, and there's no way to reverse this. Not yet. Nothing can function or move. Not undead, just dead. Thanks for watching Wondermins. Please like, share and subscribe for new videos every week.